hello welcome back um thank you for watching uh, our previous videos and uh, welcome to our new video uh, a quick recap uh, last time we looked at um, the user management module we were able to look at um, the users the roles uh, the commission agents and this time we're going to be looking at the contacts uh, the contacts uh, include uh, the suppliers they include um, uh, the customers under contacts we still have uh, the car the customer groups uh, we shall be looking at uh, several things and uh, we, we, the, there is a part where we can be we can be able to import uh, our contacts so this is our contact module so uh, when we click on it we should be able to see suppliers customers customer groups and import customers importing customers uh, let's say you have your customers uh, already and then you want to import them into the system uh, when you click on it okay let's look at that first when we click on it it should give us a template we can easily just click and then download and then we can use this template we can use this template to 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 bring in our customers you could follow the instructions that are listed for all the details to be included and then you can easily just uh, upload uh, the file that uh, you've uh, you've uh, you, you've edited well and included customers and then you just submit them uh, well i've imported but uh, it's it was an empty thing so <laughs> that's why nothing has been updated yeah so uh, for our suppliers now let's go let's go to uh, the suppliers uh, last time last time when we were, when we were making a purchase we had to have a supplier so we uh, made a quick sub uh, we uh, we clicked on, we created a supplier but we didn't create him from the right module we just made a creation from here which was a quick way of doing it but uh, in case let's say we want to list up all our suppliers at once uh, then we shall have to go to contacts then suppliers and then uh, this is the one we created last time the vine pharmacy today let's try to create another supplier uh, so uh, we select supplier here on the contact type uh, last time we created a business uh, this time let's create an individual supplier uh, we'll leave the uh, contact id empty so that it's auto generated maybe this person is um, mr yeah mr um, mr roy roy ken oh <laughs> okay uh, yeah so we're going to be uh, this is going to be a supplier mr ray ken and then his number is uh, maybe zero seven uh two 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 uh in case you have an alternate number and the email you can easily add them you can add the birth date the birth date is important to the system because um, every time you record a birth date maybe for your suppliers or your customers uh, under the CRM which is the clients relations management management uh, you you will be able to track all their birthdays and be able to send them maybe birthday wishes or it's also help, uh, helpful um, if you got the, the 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 numbers and the email that way you can be able to send uh, those uh, blast messages in case you're doing a campaign a marketing campaign so yeah uh, we don't know mr ray's birthday so uh, we shall now this part uh, you remember the part where i said you can be able to assign this uh this uh contact to somebody so you can either assign to all or you can choose who you want that person to be assigned to uh for my case let me just assign him to this person you can add more details uh, like the address the shipping address and then this custom fields which, which you could set up from the settings as we saw last time so uh, from the settings i could set maybe this one to um let's say what i don't know you could set anything you want and then give it a value that you would want a, a, a bother person uh, in case you have an account with them if they have an account with us uh, maybe uh, they could uh, uh, deposit money on our account 
um, you know those things where somebody can be like uh, uh, you, you keep my money I'll be buying slow slow eh? so that's the thing you can have an account with that person and then you can uh, set terms of uh, the payment like why, after how long do you deposit on this account some people have um, those um, uh, what is it called the membership so uh, you could uh, you could use this uh, the account balance looks at uh, how much that uh, that uh, person has on, on their account and how do they pay um, but we don't need that for now uh, if it's a company you can add the contact persons but um, for our case we are looking at the individual so those things are not required and then it's that simple you just say and then you have you have um, your supplier included now this this was a business now this is just a, a name say just a person and then you can look at uh, the totals due so this person uh, from the last time we made the purchase uh, he still we, we haven't paid him uh, 885,000 uh, shillings so that's why uh, under our uh, purchases that are due we have this balance on this person so yeah um, you can uh, let's say you have uh, thousands of suppliers of people supply you you can just filter out and be like okay i want the ones that have uh, my due purchases the ones who are still demanding me and then it will filter out only those people that uh, have due purchases then the ones who have uh, had purchase returns which is zero the ones that have advanced now these are the ones we have maybe we gave more money than the products they gave us and then we told them to hold on to that money uh, or maybe they haven't sent the money back those that are having open balance uh, those are the ones that uh, have accounts with us and then uh, uh, yeah we, we don't have them at the moment or you could uh, look at the suppliers assigned to a particular person now for this person this one is assigned to him all this one remember yeah so no one is assigned to that person yet uh, their statuses you can look at the ones who are active because you can deactivate a supplier or not or the ones that are in, uh, inactive um, so let me look at none I don't want to filter out anything so for this case uh, how do you deactivate a supplier let's see you just come here and say deactivate the supplier will be deactivated you can look at the purchases you can look at the ledgers you have with them and among other things so that's how simple it is to create a supplier it's almost the same thing when it comes to creating a new customer uh, customers are important because there is no one you're going to be able to sell to if you don't have the customers so the system automatically creates a default customer who is the walk-in because for this person you don't know their name you don't know their number they're, they're just a random person who just walked in because uh, the, the cases where you don't ha you cannot ask everyone for their contacts so um, the system generates for you the walk-in customer uh, but um, it's not only the walk-in customer that's going to be our customer sometimes we have uh, people don't mind being our customer so uh, you could easily just um, request for the name of that person now it's important for us uh, if I'm creating a pharmacy business so it is important for me to have information about my clients so uh, that way I can be able to track the client and maybe do follow-ups see if uh, they've taken the medication that was uh, as uh, prescribed to them so it is it is important to uh, have the information about my client uh, adding a new client it could be a business maybe you're doing the business to business or it could be an individual uh, for this case since I'm, I'm having a small retail uh, drug shop or pharmacy I will just uh, create an individual customer and this customer may be um, um, maybe the customer said when I asked her the name she was like uh, my, my, my name is Mama Joy yeah so I'll enter them as Mama Joy and maybe they've given me their number which is 07 uh, 999 uh, there's no alternate number and then 
well, if they're okay giving their birthdays, uh, sometimes it's simpler. Where you just be like, you know what, uh, just give me the birth date. I don't need the year because people are so uh, private when it comes to the, their birth years. So you can just be like, um, just give me the date. Maybe it says it's 24th of uh, July. So you can easily just select a year and then be like, uh, okay, she said July uh, 24th. That way you get a reminder on 24th, irrespective of which year it is. Uh, this is helpful because you get to celebrate those special days with your customers. This is uh, how banks are able to send us those notifications on our birthdays and then you'll be like, wow, the bank cares about me. No, it is the system that is that has kept all that information and uh, it generates the message for you at, at your, when your date comes. So you can still assign this uh, person uh, to any users that you have in your system and then uh, have more information uh, for my pharmacy I could look at um, I could create this field from the settings and be like maybe uh, a, a disease being treated and then I just fill it up or maybe I'm treating typhoid and then I just fill it up that way I can be able to track my um, my uh, customers so well I could uh, uh, nah these ones I don't think they need the shipping address maybe they could depending on the kind of customers that you have maybe they want uh, maybe they want uh, their products to be delivered I could add um, a shipping address for that person that way I can be able uh, I don't have to uh, look, look at this uh, at this thing uh, somebody comes to you and then they purchase from you. Uh, you sell to them and next time they come back and then you'll be like, ah, what did you say your address was? Where, where do I have to deliver? Now that thing uh, creates uh, uh, that thing in a customer. Uh, but if you want to show that you care more about your customers, uh, if, if, you've, uh, if you've captured all the information that you need from that customer at once, it is, it is, it is, easier next time when somebody is like uh, you know what you deliver to me that thing and you, uh, you you don't have to ask the address again because the system already captured that address and you know exactly where to take that product uh you don't have to ask the customer uh, what did you say your name was okay that's so weird and awkward in business so this is the reason as to why we are systemizing everything you get the customer's name once you get the address once you get the number once that way you create a relation between the business and the customer yeah so we've created our customer as mama joy uh that's how simple it was so we have a customer we have two customers now this one is the walk-in that's the person who's just going to walk in quick uh maybe that they're not even willing to give the numbers or the names so that one is automatically created as um uh, the system is uh, creates that person as a walk-in um so uh, you can um, still filter between all the customers that you have you can look at the ones that are having due uh, sales the ones um, that have not uh, paid yet you can look at those that have returned products you can look at those that are demanding us maybe uh, they, they they gave us more money but they didn't take the goods uh, you can look at those that are having the open balance that's the other part that we looked at uh, the good thing with this system, now you can be able to look through uh, all your users and then see which user has not uh, given you business for some time, which is a good thing because uh, when the business grows, you have so many customers and then you need to, take, uh, to keep track of your customers. So this system will help you. Uh, look at uh, the customers who have not given you business for maybe the last one month, maybe so that you can reach out to them and be like, is everything okay? Is that a way? Uh, maybe do uh, create a promotion for those people. Uh, you can be able to look at the customers who have not given you business in three months, six months, or even a year, which is a good thing because you can know exactly how, what, and how to market to those people. Find out what has taken them, why they're not coming back. And then set the right promotions for them. Uh, you can create uh, customer groupings. Now, these we are going to look at when we go to customer groups. But um, you know, uh, in any business, we have different kinds of customers. There are customers that are maybe premium. 
Now those are the ones who are going to give you big money or the ones that are keep coming. It depends on how you would want to set them in your business. Uh, you could create another category which is uh, maybe average. So these people um, give you um, average incomes. Maybe they uh, they are uh, the, the, they don't they're not those premium customers who are going to give you big business, but uh, they're going to give you business. And that those maybe you could call bad customers, the ones who bargain, the ones who uh, complain a lot, the ones who always have uh, returns. So it depends on how you would want to group your customers, and then you can look at um, uh, you can filter out which customer is assigned to a particular person in your in your in your organization so uh, since we saw that uh, you can assign users to i mean customers or suppliers to users so you can specify uh, and say i want customers who are assigned to this person you get maybe there's so many uh, users that you have in your system and then you want to look at those customers that person that user maybe has uh, brought into your business and then the status looks at uh, the ones who are active and the ones who are inactive because you can easily deactivate just like the supplier you can deactivate a user i mean a customer yeah so uh, having created our customers if you want to look at the details of the customer you can just click sorry you can just go to action and then click view so when you click view it's going to bring you the details of that customer uh the back date and all all the major details that you need about that customer is going to pull out uh, the ledger uh look at the sales they've had with our business so far there is no sale any documents that uh, they have with us, maybe for my pharmacy, maybe um, they brought in documents uh, from uh, another, maybe the hospital from the laboratory, the test they've had. So I can capture all those documents with me. I can look at the payments they've given me. Uh, uh, remember remember the same few points uh, that we created when we were looking at the settings? Yeah, um, remember we said when somebody makes a purchase, when they buy from us with the end points so this is where you view their points and then you can spend them next time when they're making um, uh, a purchase you can look at the activity there is uh, there's only been one activity that was uh, me adding the account and then the contact persons which we add when we are creating that user the lower bottom part you can add a specific discount for this user so it'd be like uh, you know what Mama Joy has been a very good customer. So I'm creating a discount for them on that date. And that discount will be maybe 10,000. So when you submit, the discount will be applied to that uh, to their sale. Um, so that's, uh, that's, that's it for now. It comes to uh, the customers. So let's look at uh, the customer groups. We've looked at the customer groups as those, uh, as those groupings that uh, you make for your customers. Um, since we don't have so many customers, we've only created two. I could um, call this group maybe uh, the premium. The premium. Uh, they'll be my premium customers. Uh, you could set a selling group. Now the selling group, this we looked at in the settings. Uh, but uh, you could um, we, you remember when we mentioned about um, you could uh, how you could uh, create a selling group maybe depending on the minimum order quantity maybe uh, if uh, the person is a wholesaler then you set that selling group maybe let's say uh, your best price your product price is maybe twenty thousand and then you'll be like um, let me create selling groups so the best price. Any person that walks in is 20,000. Uh, people are taking uh, maybe a minimum order quantity of uh, three pieces. They'll be buying it maybe at uh, uh, 18,000. And those that are taking maybe five pieces and above, they'll be taking at 15,000. Now those are the selling groups. We shall see how to create these also. Or you can, uh, you can just put a percentage and be like uh, for all my premium customers, I'll be giving them maybe 10% off. So uh, the selling price will equal to the selling price set for that product 
plus the percentage calculation. Uh, you can specify the percentage as a positive to increase or a negative to decrease. So for these people, you could be like, uh, okay, for my premium customers, those, when they come, they give me big money. So when it comes to them, I'm going to be increasing the price by 10%. So be like, okay, when that guy comes in, if a product has been maybe uh, 20,000, then to be maybe 22,000 for those people. Or uh, maybe you could create another group where you'd be like, uh, for these people now, these people, when it comes to them, it, um, the money should reduce. When it comes to them, you, I'll be giving them maybe 10% minus. So if I want to do that, I just set it to a negative. That way it will get uh, the normal selling price, then plus uh, the percentage calculation. So it says you can specify the percentage as a positive to increase and the negative to decrease the selling price. Yeah, so I hope you understood that part. So if uh, a person is a premium, then let's say it will reduce. And then maybe if um, we, we could look at, um, you could create another, you could create as many as you want. Eh? Uh, let's say, uh, what's the other thing other than premium? Let's call them maybe regular. And we shall leave a percentage. So these ones, I'll reduce them maybe by 15%. So the regular customers will be 15% off. We've not yet created the selling group, so uh, there's no best way to, to, to set. We could also set the selling groups for them. But um, now, uh, let's say uh, if I want to, to add uh, Mama, Mama Joy to uh, a customer group, I'll just go to Mama Joy, then edit, and then I'll set a group for her. I'll say maybe she's a regular customer, so she'll be getting the 15% off. Oh, I can just leave it. I can just leave without uh, adding a group so that I sell to my normal prices. Yeah, so we've looked at uh, the customer groups, we've looked at the customers and the suppliers, we've looked at uh, how to import the contacts, and then also the filters, we've looked at all the filters. So um, thank you, thank you for watching this video with me, and uh, if it's useful to you, you could do me a favor, uh, subscribe and hit the bell button so you could be updated when the next video is uploaded. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye.